Magnesium is not as famous as uh, some of the other minerals in the body, but what happens if the levels of magnesium in your body just crash? What would you notice and what would you feel? Let's have a look. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jabril. I'm your host. So I've been doing research over the last couple of weeks on this very topic and this information is based on an article by Healthline, a world famous website on all things health. I'll leave the link to the original article below. But let's kick things off with the first thing you might notice if you are severely deficient in magnesium. So the first interesting symptom of you lacking magnesium is muscle twitches and cramps. And we think this happens because of greater flow of calcium into nerve cells. The thing with uh, magnesium deficiency is that the magnesium deficiency itself is not the only cause of all these troubles. It's the way it affects other minerals and substances in the body. And in this case, we think because it allows more calcium to flow into the nerve cells, this causes all these twitches and cramps. Interestingly, you would think that you know, because of this symptom that if you give somebody magnesium, you would make their cramps, their muscle cramps better. That is not true for some strange reason. Giving magnesium is not a cure for muscle cramps, which is, we just don't understand why. And it's worth remembering that stress, excess caffeine, anxiety, all these things can cause twitches and muscle cramps. Sometimes twitches and muscle cramps happen for no obvious reason. So don't jump into the conclusion that oh my god it must be magnesium just explore the more common causes first it's worth mentioning that these things apply when you, the levels of your magnesium really go massively low you don't really notice much difference if they are kind of moderately low they have to be severely low for you to notice these kind of things anyway let's move on to the next thing that you might notice if you are severely deficient in magnesium magnesium deficiency can also affect your mood which is something really interesting i didn't know about this it can cause numbness apathy uh, which is basically a word for when you just don't care about anything and low mood you might be thinking at this stage then okay great so if we give magnesium supplements to people who have these symptoms then they should see some improvement it's actually there's no evidence there's very limited evidence that magnesium is actually beneficial for anxiety which is really strange and it's also worth remembering that there's many 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 other causes for all of these symptoms for the numbness apathy low mood so don't, again don't jump into conclusions thinking that magnesium must be the cause explore other causes as well very very interesting now let's move on to the third thing you might notice if you are deficient in magnesium magnesium deficiency causes or worsens a condition called osteoporosis this is a condition that causes uh, weak bones and puts the person at an increased risk of fractures it's very common, um, sorry, most common in older people, especially older women. And magnesium deficiency is a clear risk factor. So this has been proven beyond doubt. And we think the way that magnesium kind of plays a role in this uh, process is that it kind of lowers the body's calcium levels. Because obviously calcium is needed for bone growth. And if you have less calcium circulating in the body, that means the bones are not growing and they're not repairing themselves. Also worth mentioning that, um, well, here in the UK anyway, magnesium testing is not part of this standard health check. Uh, maybe in other countries in the US or Canada or wherever it might be. So tell us in the country you are if this is part of um, the routine testing that you get with your healthcare providers. The next symptom of magnesium deficiency that we'll cover is muscle weakness and fatigue. So just to remind you that fatigue can be caused by many, many things that you should really explore but muscle weakness itself remember in the first part we covered muscle cramps this is something different this is muscle weakness so muscle weakness is a specific symptom of magnesium deficiency scientifically proven and we think this is caused by the loss of potassium the way magnesium low magnesium causes or precipitates loss of potassium so you can see that the trend is starting to develop now that magnesium deficiency affects other minerals like potassium and calcium and they in turn cause all these problems with muscle weakness and mood and twitching very very interesting i didn't know this particular point myself so it'd be interesting to know who actually takes magnesium supplements 
Tell us in the comments below how much you take, how often do you take it, what brand do you use? I think people will find it very useful. Anyway, let's move on to the next point. The way magnesium deficiency affects blood pressure is quite interesting. So there's weak evidence that magnesium deficiency can cause high blood pressure. But there's much, much stronger evidence that if you give magnesium supplements to, be, to people with high blood pressure, it helps them lower their blood pressure. So it's really interesting because on one side the evidence is weak, when you're on the other side, on the flip side, it seems that magnesium supplements actually help lower blood pressure. Really interesting. This is the most interesting one for me, the way magnesium deficiency affects asthma. So magnesium deficiency is definitely seen in asthmatics, there's just no doubt, this has been confirmed. And we also know that asthmatics tend to have lower levels of magnesium. Now the question is, does the low levels of magnesium cause the asthma? Or is the asthma causing the low levels of magnesium? Which way is it? We're not really sure so, we're not really sure so far. Okay asthma but then again with asthma uh, you find that almost every substance and chemical mentioned people say that it, you know it plays a role in asthma so it's one of those things where everything seems to be involved let's have a look at the next possible symptom of magnesium deficiency this particular symptom was news to me I had no idea about this but it seems that lack of magnesium can cause irregular heartbeat so irregular heartbeat obviously is a very serious symptom this is probably the most serious symptom that we've discussed in this video so far but thankfully most most of these are mild and sometimes the person doesn't even notice and we think going back again that this happens because of an imbalance in potassium levels in the heart muscle potassium plays a vital role in how the heart muscle functions and this time there's very strong evidence that magnesium is definitely involved in this because treatment with magnesium improves heart function so we know that magnesium plays a role and magnesium supplements also help so I think when they say treatment with magnesium here they meant like you know in an injectable form but even when people take magnesium su supplements it does help with people who have irregular heartbeats okay that last one was a little bit serious so uh, thankfully it's mild in most people but the good news is getting magnesium from your diet it's simple and delicious the foods that are rich in magnesium include dark chocolate mmm avocados mmm and nuts especially Brazil nuts and cashews and if you like mmm I don't really like any of these my reply would be what's the matter with you joking aside getting magnesium into your diet is really simple and delicious now question for you do you take magnesium supplements at the moment tell us in the comments below what do you take and how much do you take per day see ya adios